Hey everyone and welcome back to Inside the Cage. McGregor targets Pacquiao amid UFC comeback uncertainties. McGregor has set his sights on boxing legend Manny Pacquiao, expressing frustration with the ongoing delay in his return to the Ultimate Fighting Championship, UFC. McGregor, renowned for his prowess in mixed martial arts, has previously ventured into the world of boxing, notably facing Floyd Mayweather in a lucrative 2017 bout. The Irish fighter took to social media to announce his interest in a showdown with Pacquiao, citing the need for a new challenge amid the uncertainty surrounding his next UFC fight. McGregor, who last competed in January 2020, expressed discontent with the prolonged negotiations and scheduling issues that have hindered his return to the octagon. The 33-year-old has been a headline-grabbing figure in combat sports, and his potential clash with Pacquiao has already ignited speculation and excitement among fans. Manny Pacquiao, a boxing icon with a storied career, has previously engaged in high-profile bouts against the likes of Mayweather and Juan Manuel Marquez. The prospect of facing McGregor adds an intriguing layer to Pacquiao's legacy, potentially creating a cross-discipline spectacle that transcends the boundaries of traditional combat sports. While the details of a potential McGregor versus Pacquiao bout remain speculative, the announcement underscores McGregor's eagerness to stay active and seek new challenges. The intersection of MMA and boxing has witnessed a surge in popularity in recent years, with crossover fights capturing the imagination of fight enthusiasts worldwide. As fans eagerly await further developments, McGregor's unconventional career trajectory continues to keep the combat sports community on the edge of their seats. Adesanya's Fight Pause, UFC star unveils future plans. Adesanya has recently broken his silence on the swirling rumors surrounding a potential retirement from mixed martial arts, MMA. Taking to social media, the dynamic Nigerian-born New Zealand fighter clarified that while he is not retiring, he has decided to take a hiatus, stating, I'm not retiring. I'm taking time off to do some other sut, but trust me, I'll be back. Better and bigger than ever. Adesanya's announcement comes on the heels of his first professional defeat, a highly publicized bout against John Boshowicz for the light heavyweight title. Known for his striking prowess and flamboyant style, Adesanya's decision to step away from active competition has left fans and pundits speculating about the motivations behind his temporary departure. The champion's reference to other sat has sparked curiosity regarding the nature of his plans during this hiatus. Fans are left to wonder whether Adesanya will explore opportunities outside the octagon, delve into personal projects, or simply take a well-deserved break from the rigorous demands of professional fighting. While Adesanya reassures his supporters that retirement is not on the immediate horizon, his absence raises questions about the trajectory of the UFC middleweight division. As one of the sport's most charismatic and dominant figures, Adesanya's hiatus provides an opportunity for other contenders to rise through the ranks and vie for the coveted middleweight title. The MMA community now eagerly awaits further details from Adesanya regarding the duration of his break and his plans for the future. In the meantime, discussions about potential interim titles and matchups are already circulating, adding an extra layer of anticipation to the evolving landscape of the UFC's middleweight division. Regardless of the uncertainty, Adesanya's assurance of a triumphant return ensures that his impact on the sport is far from over. McGregor's warning, impatience grows for UFC 300 return. McGregor has recently addressed the persistent speculation surrounding his potential return to the Ultimate Fighting Championship, UFC, in a statement that emphasized his growing impatience. McGregor, a former two-division champion, took to social media to clear the air about his status and the much-anticipated UFC 300 event. In a candid post, McGregor stated, My patience is wearing thin, shedding light on the frustration he feels with the ongoing uncertainty surrounding his next UFC bout. The fighter, renowned for his striking prowess and larger-than-life persona, has been absent from the octagon since January 2020, and fans have been eagerly awaiting news of his return. The reference to UFC 300 has added a layer of intrigue, as the milestone event would undoubtedly benefit from the presence of a marquee name like McGregor. 
Speculation about potential opponents and the stakes of such a high-profile return has fueled discussions within the MMA community. McGregor's announcement has sparked debates about the challenges and negotiations involved in securing a bout at UFC 300. As one of the sport's biggest draws, McGregor's return could have significant implications for the UFC's viewership, pay-per-view sales, and overall excitement surrounding the event. While McGregor did not provide specific details about the issues causing the delay, his straightforward acknowledgement of impatience has created a buzz among fans and fellow fighters alike. The charismatic Irishman's impact on the sport extends beyond the octagon, as his presence transcends traditional boundaries and brings a level of entertainment and spectacle that few can match. As the MMA world eagerly awaits further updates, McGregor's statement ensures that the narrative surrounding UFC 300 and his potential return remains a central focus. Whether negotiations conclude favorably or further delays persist, the anticipation for McGregor's next chapter in the UFC adds an element of suspense to the evolving landscape of mixed martial arts. Chandler critiques Page faces tough debut versus Holland. Michael Chandler has weighed in on the UFC debut of Michael Page, expressing his belief that Page was handed a horrible matchup in the form of Kevin Holland. Chandler, who is known for his striking prowess and recently transitioned to the welterweight division, shared his insights on the bout that has captured the attention of fight enthusiasts. Chandler, a seasoned veteran with a wealth of experience in high-stakes matchups, took to social media to express his views on the pairing of Page and Holland. Both fighters have garnered attention for their exciting styles, but Chandler contends that the stylistic matchup heavily favors Holland, making it a challenging initiation for Page in the UFC. Kevin Holland, known for his unorthodox striking and unpredictable approach in the octagon, poses a unique challenge for any opponent. Page, renowned for his flashy and dynamic stand-up game, is making the leap to the UFC after a successful stint with Bellator MMA. Chandler's comments have ignited discussions about the matchmaking decisions made by the UFC and the potential implications for Page's future in the promotion. As fans eagerly anticipate this intriguing clash of styles, questions linger about how Page will adapt to the challenges presented by a seasoned UFC competitor like Holland. The dynamics of this welterweight showdown have added an extra layer of excitement to Page's UFC debut turning it into a must-watch event for MMA enthusiasts. Whether Chandler's assessment proves accurate or Page defies the odds, the build-up to this clash has undoubtedly heightened the anticipation surrounding the welterweight division, showcasing the depth and talent within the UFC's roster. As the fight date approaches, the MMA community will be watching closely to see how Michael Page fares against Kevin Holland, with Chandler's comments adding an intriguing narrative to an already captivating matchup. That's all for today, folks. Thanks for watching.